News 8 is your local election headquarters. Is Democratic endorsed candidate for Attorney General Representative William Tong eligible to seek the office? A lawyer is asking that question. He's the same man who first raised the question about Susan Bicewitz's qualifications for Attorney General in 2010. News 8's George Colley is looking into this. Attorney Ryan McKean first started writing a ConnecticutLawBlog.com more than a decade ago. He was the first to question in 2010 if Attorney General candidate Susan Bicewitz was qualified to run for the office. That question made its way all the way to the Connecticut Supreme Court. She was disqualified. Now he's asking similar questions about Attorney General candidate William Tong. And Tong is responding. Trial is a very, very specific thing. There are transcripts, there are records, there are procedures, there are evidentiary rules. It is actual battle in a courtroom. Glastonbury attorney Ryan McKean is questioning if Democratic Attorney General candidate William Tong has enough trial courtroom experience to qualify to be the state's top lawyer. The Connecticut Supreme Court ruled in 2010 in the Bicewitz versus DiNardo case that the Attorney General must have some measure of experience in trying cases. Bicewitz's decision talks about a number of other things, but one of the on on the point regarding trial, it requires trial experience, not just litigation experience. The court went beyond that. McKean says he can only find evidence of Tong taking one trial to verdict and alleges that Tong has not been able to name cases that he took to trial when asked in recent weeks. If you ask me, Ryan, have you given an opening statement? Yes, I have. Here's the case and here's the transcript. Have you handled witnesses? Yes, I have. Um, I think that these, for any trial attorney, these are this is a relatively low bar. And, and what I would want to see is actual documented proof of involvement. Dozens of cases in state court in Connecticut alone, dozens of cases in federal court. Representative Tong says he's been an active member of the Connecticut Bar for 15 years. He was in New York for three years before that. He's a commercial litigator for a big firm, and he says most of his cases settle before going to a jury or even a trial. They're high stakes litigation. Uh, these cases take years and years to develop, and um, they rarely go to trial. When they do go to trial, um, they rarely go to verdict. But all along the way, these cases are heavily litigated. He says he usually works with a team of attorneys, but that he has seen at least two cases to verdict in recent years, a federal case in Bridgeport and a superior court case in New Britain. For example, in this New Britain case, yeah. did it myself. Yeah. Uh, you know, talked about um, the Chardavoyan case, for example, um, you know, had a major role in that on my feet to the opening. Tong also listed several other cases that he says he played a major role in, including at least three going on right now, but argues it shouldn't matter. The Bicewitz decision does not say a certain number of trials to verdict. And if you meet that standard, you somehow get to be attorney general. That's not the law, period. Tong believes McKean is trying to redefine the state law, and this is nothing but a smear campaign. McKean says he's just looking for the answer to his question. Show your evidence. Show your evidence. To see the interview with Representative Tong in its entirety, go to WTNH.com. George Colley, News 8.